Hey guys, Josh from CaliforniaThroughMyLens.com. Today we're in Lassen Volcanic National Park hiking to Bumpus Hell. Bumpus Hell is a hydrothermal area in Lassen Volcanic National Park that's become one of the park's most popular attractions. The Bumpus Hell area is accessed via a three mile round trip trail with a couple hundred feet of elevation gain. While the trail is steep at the end, it is suitable for most families. Here's all the information. Starting the trail to Bumpus Hell, this is the most popular spot in the entire park, so get here early. This is 8.30 on a Wednesday, but it can fill up fast, especially in the summer. It's only 1.5 miles to get there. Starting out on the trail and it actually goes all along that ridge line and then Bumpus Hell is over there. The trail begins by paralleling the park's main road as you make your way around the hillside. Looks like the parking lot is almost full 10 minutes after I left. Check out this view of Lassen and Lake Helen right before you bend and go that way. So what's nice about this trail is that it's basically flat all the way to the overlook for Bumpus Hell and then it's 300 feet down if you want to go closer to it. Also, the views along this section of the trail are just absolutely incredible. The trail is beautiful the entire way as it walks along the edge of a mountain and has a large drop on one side that looks over the rest of the park. I think that that's Brokoff Mountain right there. Lassen Peak is the main high point for the National Park, but Brokoff Mountain is another popular hiking attraction in the park. Nice little pull out about halfway to Bumpus Hell, which gives you some great views of the park. It's like the perfect day today. We got blue skies, but we got a lot of clouds, which make it good for photography and for hiking because the sun doesn't beat down on you. There's a fire way out in the distance though, so we'll see if that affects it at all. You can see a little bit of that fire haze down there. At this part of the hike, you're about a mile in and you're just about to cross over the hill and see Bumpus Hell. We made it to Bumpus Hell, first view. Before heading down, be sure to soak in the views from this overlook. We're taking the frying pan trail. There are two ways to get down to the boardwalk area, but I definitely recommend the frying pan trail as the views are better and there's another cool overlook on this part of the trail. You can see all the people down there to show how big this area is. As I was taking photos, I met Tom. He's a fellow adventure photographer. I'll leave his Instagram in the description if you wanna check it out. We took our time heading down to the boardwalk area as there's so many amazing views of the colorful mud pots and the steam rising during this section of the trail. Plus this section is where one of my favorite overlooks for the Bumpus Hell area is and I took some time to do a time lapse while I was waiting up there. The Bumpus Hell area comprises over 16 acres with the main part you see on this trail only a small portion of that. Bumpus Hell was named after Kendall Bumpus, an early settler who had a mining claim in the area. When he was exploring, he fell through the thin crust and his leg entered one of the boiling pools. It caused severe burns and his leg eventually had to be amputated, leading to the name Bumpus Hell. It was hard to leave that overlook because it was so beautiful, but we're heading down to the boardwalk. Look how crazy that is, it's like gray water coming off of this area. You definitely want to give yourself some time for the boardwalk section. This entire area is crazy, from the steam vents to the gray water that flows off of them. We made it to the Bumpus Hell boardwalk. The boardwalk area allows you to cross over and get up close to some of the hydrothermal features. It's an awesome way to really appreciate the uniqueness of this hike. So the water that escapes out of here can be up to 200 degrees. Even though I've been here many times, this is still one of my favorite short trails in the California National Park System, and you see something new every time you visit. There's still a decent amount of people here, but it's definitely not like a typical summer 
people walk along the boardwalk and then they leave and you can actually get some really cool photos. So there's only two paths right now. There's that one and then there's that one. Back in the day, it used to go around that way, but when they rebuilt the boardwalk, they took that part away. This isn't the only hydrothermal area in the park. There's Sulphur Works, which you'll drive by when you come in from the southern entrance, and the Devil's Kitchen, which I'll have a video on soon. On the other side of the trail that you come down, there's another small trail that takes you to some nice overlooks. Don't leave without doing them. After exploring the boardwalk, definitely hike up this hill right here. This viewpoint is incredible and it's a great way to end your time on the trail. That mud pot right there is boiling so intensely that you can hear it all the way from here. Spend as much time as you'd like exploring this area before heading up and over the hill and back to the trailhead. Thanks for hiking to Bumpus Hell with me. You can see all of my lasting content in the description and we'll see you on the next video.